Hello everybody, only the repair dude is here again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows Server Boost Exception Error on Tsunami USB. This error occurs on dual GPU laptops with integrated graphics and dedicated graphics. This does not require your machine specific EFI folder. Let's get started by demonstrating the problem. Turn on the computer. Tap VSC. Go to my storage media. To boot. Boot Mac OS install from Tsunami. Allow it to boot. By the way, this laptop has dual GPU which have the NVIDIA graphics and the Intel integrated graphics. I'll just let it boot. Now it gets the error, service only run for 0 seconds, pushing out is spawned by 10 seconds. This error keep appearing which is the host level abstraction race and com.apple.windows server. Service ran for 0 seconds, pushing out is spawned by 10 seconds. This will keep looping. I move it closer just to show you. I'm sorry, it is not clear. This is caused by dual GPU laptops. Yeah, this is the error we are going to fix. I move it a bit closer so you can see. Okay, let's get started with the fix. The first step is to mount the EFI partition on the Tsunami USB. Go to search, enter this part. Then enter the command list disk. Select your USB drive disk. For my case, is this two. Select these two. Then enter list volume. Select the volume with the label boot Intel. Select volume two. Enter. For my case, is volume two. Then after which, enter a sign letter G to assign a drive letter and press enter. Once it says this part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point, open Windows Explorer. Click boot Intel and you should open the EFI partition of Tsunami USB. You can now close this part and Windows Explorer for now. The next step is to download two cactus which is whatever green and lilu. Go to Google Chrome. Allow the browser to load. Search whatever green Go to releases, exit, enter whatever green, download whatever green release.zip. Now let's download Lilu. Google again. Search Lilu. Click releases, exit, enter Lilu. Then download Lilu release.zip, the latest version. Once you download Lilu and whatever green, open both zip files. Close the browser. Open another Windows Explorer window.
go back to the EFI partition you just mounted, which is a Tsunami USB EFI partition. Go to EFI, Clover, Texas, other. Then copy whatever green dot text to the others folder. Allow you to copy. Once you finish copying the whatever text, copy Lilu. Copy Lilu dot text to the other folder. Once you're done copying those cactus, go back to Clover, go to config, then go to edit with no bad plus plus. Find the boot arguments. Go to find, type boot, find next. And then you find the arguments. Then go to arguments. Go to the string. Make sure your cursor at the string. Make sure you add a space as well. Then close find. Enter dash w e no. E G P U. This will disable the dedicated graphics and only use your integrated graphics to boot to Tsunami USB. Once done, click File, click Save, and now you are ready to boot Tsunami USB on your dual GPU laptop. Let's try it out. Okay, let's boot up to Tsunami USB after I apply the fix. Turn on the computer. Press the ESC key to access the BIOS boot menu again. Select the storage media to boot. Select boot Mac OS install from Tsunami. Allow it to boot. And boom, Tsunami USB successfully boot. You can now use it to jailbreak your device. I really hope you enjoy my video and find it useful. Please like, share, and comment on my video, subscribe to my channel, and please do donate. The link to donate is in the description below. And see you in the next tutorial video.